Hello everybody, this is Dr. Anna Balok Sabo and I'm going to be your instructor in the Hybrid Physical Geology Summer of 2015 class. Uh, I hope we are all going to have fun. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate the class. So I'm in Blackboard right now and uh, you, you have to find your Physical Geology. It's Geology 105 Hybrid 1, so that's your class. We're going to get in and as it comes up, it will show the announcement. The announcement is a very important place. You want to always come up here and look at what's going on. I promise you I will always tell you everything what goes on in the class on the announcement. Each week I will put up a couple of them so it's important that you come on to Blackboard just about every day. So I'm going to show you all these buttons and what they do and what do you have to do about them. So let's go to the start here. Uh, this is, of course, me. I am, sorry, I'm show, showing myself anyhow. Uh, so, in this one, I'm talking about that it's important to use Mozilla uh, Firefox for Blackboard, especially when you do your online tests. Um, that's, that's the best program to use it with. Uh, these are the technical skills re requirement. I think all of you are uh, up to speed on this thing. Uh, however, if you do this this uh, course and you think that you're going to take the tests at home online, it's extremely important that you have to have a very good computer with a very fast internet connection because otherwise it's going to have glitches, it will stop on you. So it's extremely important that at least when you take tests, you're going to have an extremely good internet connection at home. Uh, these are the discussion board etiquette. And because you're going to use the discussion board a whole lot, it's very important that you uh, follow these rules. And same with the email. Like if you email me, uh, I have three classes I teach this summer, so you have got to tell me not only your name, but also which class are you in. So this one is the hybrid one, HY-1. So just remember that one. Okay, so that's the start. Here, here is the syllabi, the next one. So this is just about general information at Virginia Western. These are student resources like about learning center and uh, hours and all that stuff. But what is about our course is right here in the course syllabi. I have two things here. One is the, the course outline. The course outline really is just for you to um, put it in your folder and make sure that you... Um, I'm not even going to worry about opening it. So this, the course outline is only talking about what we cover in this class. So you really need it if you transfer and they are wondering what have you done in this class. So please put it away and if they ever ask you to prove what you have done in the class, then this is what you have to show them. This here is really actually our actual syllabi for this summer class. So I'm really going to try to open this. I have to save it first on my computer even Yes, and then hopefully it's going to I already have it on my so I guess I'm just going to open it from right here yes, right here so this is our uh, syllabi I can see that there is a problem this is hybrid, so we're going to have labs this is not the right work. That's the one. Sorry. I am so sorry. But I'm not going to redo it because I just don't really have time. I have to drink a coffee for this. Sorry. So, this tells you that um, this is class summer 2015. Uh, our lectures are going to be via internet. Our labs are going to meet um, Monday night from actually 6 o'clock to 9.30, so it's 6 to 9.30. This is my uh, email, so please use that email, and I wish you to use your uh, Virginia Western email also. My office is in the, in the uh, health profession building. Uh, they also call it Frailing Center. It's in 318. Uh, this is my home phone number, my cell phone number actually, 
and I, I really want you to not even try to find my office phone number because I am not sitting there in the summer. Uh, so you have got to call me on my cell phone or text me. You can call me, text me, email me. So there is a bunch of ways to contact me. So please use one of those instead of leaving messages on my office phone. Uh, I don't really have a set up uh, office hour during the summer. If you if you need to talk to me, you can actually just um, text me. You can also Facebook me, and my Facebook name is Anna Balog. So not the Sabo Sabo, just Anna Balog. So you can find find me there too, and you can actually message me there uh, also. These are all the uh, objectives and goals. The required textbook. Actually, most of my students can do the, the uh, course without the textbook, so I am absolutely fine if you don't buy the textbook. I have slideshows. I have um, YouTube videos for each chapter, and it's, it's more than enough. So if you need to save that money, please just go without the book. Uh, these are the class procedures and all that good stuff, so you can just read about it. The discussion board is really important. That's our class activity. So each week I will put one or two uh, discussion board entry and you have to write that. Uh, actually, it's it could be like two, three paragraphs. So it's not four, five, but two, three paragraph. And um, it's very important that you have to also include your resources. So you have to copy and paste your resources at the end of, of each of your posts. These posts are very necessary. They are going to give you an activity grade, so it's an important thing to do. Uh, every single time, and I will show you it in the class when it comes up, it comes up with a due date, so you have to be done with your research by that you, uh, due date. And then you have to talk to other people also. We're going to have the labs every Monday from 6 to 9.30, and it's very, very important that you come to lab. It's mandatory. There will be some labs when we don't meet because I have uh, online field trips, not online field trips, but field trips which you can do on your own. So I will give you labs for those. I do have here how to be successful, so please go through all those. Here is the grading. We will have three online lecture tests. Each of them are going to be 8 and 9% respectfully. Your midterm is going to be comprehensive from 1 to 7, you know, learning unit 1 to 7, and it's going to be 25% of your uh, grade. The final is also 25%, and it will be uh, from the midterm comprehensive, uh, and the lab is going to be 25%. You will have a couple of quizzes. You'll have picture project. I will talk to you more about that since we meet every Monday. So here is the grading scale, and of course you have to be honest, uh, so here are the penalties for academic uh, honesty violation. So that's about the syllabi, so let me close this one now, and we can go back to, the, to our course and uh, look at the faculty information. I already told you this is my email. I told you, please, please call my cell, cell phone number, cell phone number. I told you where is my office and that officers by appointment. And I also have my web page. And that is a good thing to, um, to come here, not only because you can see my wonderful family. This here is my daughter, um, my son, and of course the whole family. Uh, because the other reason is because I have the whole class right here. So if for some reason Blackboard is down or you just want to see how much of the stuff you have already done, how much you haven't, everything is completely uh, right here. So you can see I have all the internet exercises, all the review questions, and I will show it to you on Blackboard in a minute. So that's my web page. So if I uh, come back, the next button is the discussion board. And I already kind of told you that this is the place where uh, we come and this is our class activity. The first thing you will have to do, and I am sorry, I'm going to change this grade. So by the time you actually see this class, it will 
say the real due date. Like the first one is going to be May 20 or May 22. The first one is to introduce yourself. And it's extremely important to me that we get to know each other. So don't just put one line that I am this and this and that's what I do and buy. I want you to be a little bit, you know, just write something really enjoyable, like you wrote an English essay or something. Um, because this is where you can actually express yourself. And I'm really a caring person. I care for my students. So I really want to know who you are and what are your goals, if you have family, what kind of job you have. So please, please. And also, I really would like you to put up a, a picture of yourself. So when I see you in the lab, I know exactly who you are. So please do so. I have a YouTube here to show you how to put a picture in. So please do it. If you have any questions about the class, it comes right here. So if you have a question which is related to the class, please don't text me, but put it up here. So I will come on and look at it every day and answer it. Only text me if you have like a personal question, which nobody else should see. So please, please come here and ask questions right here. This is the first one. Obviously, I changed the date on this one because it's May um, 28th. So that's going to be your first essay question, the geology in the news. So uh, you can just follow these things. I have this website, but if you do find other geology in the news, that's cool too. So you don't have to have every single thing right from this website. You can come up like the Nepalian earthquake, or if you want to write about the volcano, which is going off right now, probably they're also here, but uh, you can find other places to, to find interesting stuff about geology. And then it just comes up further and further. If you just want to talk with each other, I have this Earth uh, Cyber Cafe, like if you want to organize a study sessions or something, this is where you should go. So that's about discussion board. The next thing is the learning unit. The learning units are uh, covering all the chapters we'll go through this semester. As you can see, it's 14. So the first, the very first one is the dynamic planet. When you open it, it starts with the objectives, and then you'll have the study materials, review questions, and assignments. So let's get into the study materials. As you can see, it starts with the review questions. Uh, the general thing is that if you know the answers for those review questions, then you're good to go on the test. I will not check on your review question, so it's only for yourself. So make sure before you take the test that you look at those and you make sure that you can answer them. Each chapter has a slideshow. I suggest you to print that slideshow, and when you have it printed, you got to go on YouTube and watch the narrated slideshows, because on those slideshows, I actually really am checking uh, the most important, I, I point out the important things and I will tell you what's going to be on the test. So this is your responsibility to listen to those slideshows. And I actually will check how many people have listened to it and I know how many people are in my classes. So you got to do it, please. Uh, I also have great websites for studying and a bunch of YouTube videos. So that's why I told you that you really don't need to uh, buy the book because I have enough material for you to actually be successful in this class. And the last thing is the assignments. These are basically somewhat uh, supportive to the courts. So you will have to do these. These are mostly inter internet exercises. You have to actually go to those websites and uh, answer all the questions. Most of the time, I check the website that it works, but if for some reason this website do not work, please just Google the answers. You still have to put the answers in. So if you have any questions about this, please um, text me or ask me on that discussion board. Um, and you can also, of course, ask me in the lab. We're going to meet that. And then, uh, I don't remember what button, so, and that's your grade. So I think we are done, and I hope you are going to have fun, and I promise I'm going to make it as fun as possible, you know, after all, it's a class. But I think geology is just about the best choice you had at Virginia Western, and, and I'm sure you will enjoy it, and for the rest of your life, 
you, you will think a lot about geology because you already do listening to all these earthquakes and volcanoes so geology happens all the time so you are at the right place at the right right time and I'm really looking forward meeting you guys um, I'll see you in lab bye